Hey guys and welcome back to Motorsport Madness. Today we have a pretty mad video uh, for you. If you can hear me over this rain, we are back at Spa. We weren't here, well we were here not so long ago for the uh, third round of the historic F1 series. Went pretty bad uh, for that race. We've been here a few times and um, it's been a long time to take these kinds of cars around this track and why am I doing this? Well, basically after the uh, the situation which was the Singapore and Japanese Grand Prix where it was F1 were scared of the wet and the rain to me I thought well there was a time where that wasn't the case especially in the 1960s and 70s where F1 simply just didn't care about the rain and your safety uh, they basically bunk you on the head and say, no, you're racing, you're racing today, you're not getting out of this, you're staying in that cockpit and you're driving. Uh, if, if you're if, if you're too scared, just slow down a bit. But if you take that to any racing driver, that's just not going to work. So, that gave me an idea. So a long time ago, we actually, well, I did, I did a video showcasing Spa in a pretty terrifying state in cars like this. And we were doing it in heavy fog conditions. We didn't have rain back then, but now we do. And someone commented on that video, and that gave me the idea of, right, I want to do a redo. I'll leave a link to that video um, in the description if you want to watch it. Uh, it's, it's quite an oldie. I was still in the time where I was still trying to get my um, microphone settings right and the audio levels right. Um, so it's a little bit rough around the edges but it's still worth a watch because it's a pretty entertaining race nonetheless. So we're here recreating what happened in 1966. Now you might be thinking, well Jack, you've got the um, 1967 cars here. And yes you're correct because I haven't actually got any 1966 cars. I've only got like two or three, not enough to fill the entire grid. So I've had to use the 1967 cars which are a little bit more powerful uh, for this race to recreate the 66 Belgian Grand Prix. So what happened? The race started pretty much in conditions like this and um, pretty much half the grid retired on the first lap. Uh, I think it was um, it, uh, Joe Bonnier went off at... Uh, where is it? <laughs> I need to remember now. Um, see, I normally I remember but it just escapes my mind when I'm talking to the camera. Um, well, microphone, you get what I mean. Yeah, he went off at a place and uh, went through someone's window. Uh, Jackie Stewart had a horrible accident, a master, that's a pretty well known one. Jim Clark, his engine basically flooded with water and killed itself. And luckily, there wasn't any deaths. So that's a good thing. But it was um, the accident which led Jackie Stewart to kind of waking up and realizing now nah, this, is, this isn't right we need to change things so we're here at spa kind of trying to recreate that and also showcase just how dangerous this was back in the day people seem to think f1 was dangerous back well now it is yes to a degree but in the 1960s especially the late 60s it was quite literally drive to survive any wrong mistake could be the end of you sadly and uh, many drivers went into this kind of with a mindset expecting to die almost like soldiers in the first and second world wars or even modern day you know you kind of accept that you're already dead so then you can't you don't kind of separate your emotions um, you kind of have that kind of mentality and that's sad luckily it's not quite the same anymore so we're driving this the Ferrari 31267, an absolutely stunning car, one of the best looking cars in F1 history, I mean just look at that, it's just so beautiful and I've been driving this a lot lately uh, off camera, just having a chill, having fun and uh, yeah, we'll have a whole group blah, 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 grid of the um, Grand Prix Legends mod by Bazza. So we have Brabham's, Coopers, BRM's, Eagles, Lotus, you name it. There's only up 15 other drivers um, starting this race. So right at the back, it's the camera car. Phil Hill in the McLaren M2B. 
and uh, yeah so this is gonna be pretty fun as you can see it's pretty wet and um, there's not much grip the track is very cold and have no traction control so this is gonna be very interesting to see if I can make it I've done a few practice laps around here and it makes me sit here and think uh, yeah what am I doing myself <laughs> I'm gonna make a fool of myself on on my channel but but this is much more madness this is quite mental and we'll have to see what happens and uh, I've taken the place of Lorenzo Bandini on the grid who starts fifth so we start at fifth on the grid if we make it through the start okay we should be fine but we'll have to see what happens so uh, let's jump in the car and um, see what fate awaits us so, uh, let's have a little look Right then, here we are on the grid. What a lovely grid it is. I always love lining up here. It just echoes proper racing. And I just love driving these cars. They're dangerous. It gets your adrenaline going right up. And it's just wonderful. I love it. Especially this car. I never really bothered with this car until now. I've just fallen in love with it. It's just beautiful with the proper spaghetti exhaust. You can see the other one over there. I think you could just about see <sighs> but yeah this is this is terrifying this really is just sat here seeing these puddles everywhere I can only imagine what the real drivers had to go through this is and that's the thing they did this <laughs> it's unbelievable right enough talking Focus, focus. Right, let's do this. Let's just get this done. Okay, here we go. Definitely haven't attempted this about a hundred times already. <laughs> Make it up here, Rouge. Unscathed, we should be fine. Barely touching the thought as we go up here. Why are you going so slow? Come on, get out of my way. I'm in a Ferrari, you're in a Cooper. Touch the grass, don't touch the grass. Whoa. I really wanted to go then. So slippery around here. Ooh. Jesus. Now I don't know if you could tell. My voice is a little bit strained because this is just terrifying. Did a driver just go off then? It's completely vanished. <laughs> Pretty sure he was fighting another driver, but we're up to third. And oh, there's a crash. There's a crash, 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 crash. He's gone as well. Funny enough, the same place as Joe Bonnier went off. That's that's crazy. We've got four laps, by the way. So this should be my teammate, John Surtees. Or what was it? Was it the Ferrari going off then? I couldn't really see. It's just wet. Don't listen to that Ferrari just. Oh. We've got a bit of a. St Hello. Okay, you just stay behind me. Here we go. Now, we're in the lead. 1966 Belgian. Normally I'll go down to fourth, but on this occasion, no. Crikey. This, 
car feels like it's struggling. It's like me trying to talk to a girl for the first time. Like, <laughs> hi, my name is. Anyway, see ya. The engine is just really. So I'm struggling to talk because I'm having to concentrate so much. So I'm having to be so careful on the throttle. There's been a massive crash behind me. That wasn't me. Pretty sure I heard another car then. But we've got a bit of breathing space. Now. We've got to be careful. Not to make any mistakes. This is where I crashed. Last week. In the... the <laughs> The Belgian Grand Prix nearly did the same thing. We got what looks to be a Lotus catching up. I'll just throw some flames at him, warn him. Jackie shirts out as well. It is a Lotus as well. Yeah, ignore that. I'm not really surprised my computer is struggling. Um, um, okay. Get out of pit lane. There's a car on the grid still there. No one's gonna. No one's bothered about that. No, right then. Oh well. We survived the first lap. That Lotus is still there. What's I saying? I was saying something. Yeah, I'm having to concentrate a lot here. This is... I'm having to think about everything. Can we just appreciate how beautiful this car is? Also... If an alarm goes off, and I hope it doesn't, that'll be my food. So I've got food on the go in the oven. And uh, that'll be it. Fifth gear, let's go! That Lotus is very close. It's catching up on me. The Lotus is a lot, well, it's not a lot, but it is faster than this Ferrari. Not a huge amount, but still faster. When I braced against the Ferrari, because I haven't really driven this car until now. Yeah, I haven't really driven this car until now. Coming up against it, driving said Lotus. It was just always the slowest car on the grid. Well, I'm gonna go here. Because we want my line for Master. Hello! Don't break in front of me, please. What did I say? What did I say? massive crash behind me, I don't know if you just caught a glimpse of that but it looked like two cars just absolutely pelted it into the wall master I'll zoom into it when it, in the edit see, in the historic F1 series Pretty much all of them except Spain and Germany are wet races. The remaining ones, anyway. Silverstone's going to be conditions like this. Bremgarten's going to be wet as well. So it's going to be tough. Well, confident. Still in second, that Lotus is, um, well, it's gone, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, that blood shim on. No, it's just going in there now. I can barely see. See, because it's fairly cold in this room, well, it's not freezing, it's just a little bit chilly. But, these, um, this headset is slightly fogged up. 
That's it. Drifting an F1 car like it's nothing. Man, this is crazy. There we go. And relax for a bit. <laughs> what if that car's still there? It is. Can someone remove that? But that's kind of added realism, really. Because if there was an accident or a car broke down, they wouldn't remove the car. And that stayed that way until like the 90s or 2000s. I like now. If someone's in like the runoff area or whatever, it'll be instantly removed and safety car and everything. But in the 60s, no. I know they won't keep it on the track, but <laughs> at least they'll just move it to the side. I think for a little while we'll catch up to our Lotus, but now it's gone. I didn't actually check the pit board to see who it is. Joseph is out as well. I think half the grid's retired, which is fitting, I guess. Lap three now, so we're nearly finished. All I got to do is survive. We're not here for the win. We're here just to survive. This is essential. I'll show you a little um, cool gimmick at the end. Remember on the cool down lap, I'll stop and show you something. Caught my attention. I was like, wow, I haven't seen that on any other car. And if it's stuttering a bit, I do apologise. As I always say, because um, it's a lot for my computer to deal with. Got through master, okay. Ooh, I can smell chicken. It's my dinner in the oven. See, if it, if the alarm goes off, I'm gonna have to like get my phone out mid race, which is gonna add to the danger. They didn't have that issue back in 1966. I keep thinking that's the Burger King logo there. I'm not seeing any cars behind me. We've only got that car in front. This has taken me so many attempts to have a clean race. I think I attempted this eight times. And every time. I'll be involved in some sort of accident. And if I'm feeling confident enough, I would have um, uploaded it on this video as well. Outtakes. See, it's... I can feel the coldness of this being here. It's crazy. Wipe my face a second because I can't see. Oh, wait, it's not real green. I'm talking gibberish again, aren't I? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Nearly went wide. I'm definitely going in that clubhouse after. Have a beer, or five, or ten. Lotus just went down La Source. The water just building up on that inside of the corner there. Let's not touch the uh, pit lane walls at all. Hello. We'll go down for a second. Oh, of course it is. It's Jim Clark. The greatest of all time. Absolute legend. No wonder he's in the lead. I can't even catch up to him. But last lap now. Let's enjoy it while it lasts. It's not as eventful as the last time I did a race like this here. 
but I'm sure we'll get other opportunities. Well, at least I haven't died. It's a lot more responsive than the um, Lotus. When you're driving around that Lotus around here, it's a lot more difficult for some reason. The Ferrari seems to be able to cope with the rain a lot better. This is find your gear. Thank you. <laughs> I moved the gear stick and it accidentally went to seven briefly. I don't want seven. I haven't got seven. I haven't got six. Let's lean back. Master from the last time. I'm on fire. And perfectly executed. What? That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Ish. It's basically going to get from me in conditions like this. Alright, Jim. It's time at the bar. I thought that was him then, but now it's the bush. Do we have a chance of catching up to Jim Clark? Uh, let me think about that. No. <laughs> it's it's all over. Like I said, we're not going for the win here. Just to survive. And we've accomplished that so far. We are slowly getting getting to him though. So I've noticed this come down this straight. It's a lot further from the corner each, each time. You, you, you probably won't be able to see him. You know, I could just barely see him for me. So for you, probably not. Going to go down to third for safety. And relax. Don't want a recreation of last week's incident. It's fine, it's fine. Of course, I'll just miss out right at the end. It's fine. Fine, I'll go into second, even though I've got to go down right now. <sighs> nice way to end the race, eh? <laughs> Stupid gearbox. It's a fry, what do you expect? And yeah, we're going to cross the line of style. Oof. There we go, that's how you do it. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we survived. We actually survived. And that's how you do it here at Spa Fighter Shop. Wow. That took a lot of my mental capacity, that did. And I'd highly recommend every single one of you watching to try this out yourself. That was just... That was just amazing. Who's this? Did you like that? No? You're a bit stuttery. So you just, as soon as you put that portal down, it just wants to go. But anyway, let me show you what I found. If I just stop here. Don't mind me, guys. Go on, go past. I want to show the viewers something. Look. Look at this here! That she moves! I haven't seen that anywhere else. That's quite impressive, wouldn't you agree? Like... The level of detail on this car, this is a Kunos car. They just... All the moving parts. Probably more somewhere that I haven't noticed. Oh, but the Ferrari 312 is an absolutely beautiful car. And I uh, highly, uh, oh, I can't speak. And I uh, highly 
encourage all of you to try this car out on this track with those other cars in conditions like this. It will blow your mind. Doctors hate this. Maybe we should have a clickbaity intro as well. Let's go. So yeah guys, that was when F1 didn't care about the wet and didn't care about your safety. And I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, thanks for staying around. Thanks for your wonderful support lately, I really appreciate that. And um, until the next one, which will be Sunday for round 5 of the 1954 F1 series as part of the historic F1 series. Uh, we're at the British Grand Prix at Silverstone in conditions like this. So this is a good way of uh, getting prepared. So until then guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and maybe subscribe. We're a fairly new channel and uh, been growing in quite large numbers recently. It's been lovely to see. Really appreciate all your support. So thank you very much. And um, until next one guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you a lot later. Bye.